type in the home screen, turn the calculator, go here, it's the same thing as adding a graph, doesn't matter. But from here, what we're going to do, we're going to insert, we insert a slider, which is here, so click it on slider, you can move the slider anywhere you want, and I'm just going to call it stars. And from there, I'm just going to minimize it. So I just right click on the bar, click minimize, and I minimize my stars. Now, for the fun part, I'm going to go, I right click and I'm going to text. If you can't do it that way, you can just go to menu and you can go down to where it says text. And I'm going to place a text here. And I'm going to say uh, y, and I need greater than or equal to y is greater than or equal to and I'm going to make this one negative negative two and then I'm going to make another one it's going to say y is less than or equal to negative two oops there's supposed to be negative two and I hit enter so the first one I'm just going to do, I'm going to hit escape a couple times on the calculator and I can grab this one and pull it down. And you notice it fills out the bottom. What I want to do, I want to change the features on this so I can either right click or hit control menu, same difference. If I hit control menu, it, it brings up this and I want to change, I want to change the color, the fill color. And I want to fill this one, I say, I like brown. Brown looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? I actually want to leave that one, I think. I'm going to take it dark black or whatever. And then I'm going to take this one and just move it down to the axes. And it fills it so I got it separates the two things. And now I'm just going to add my stars. First, I'm going to hide this though. I right click on it. I want to hide the axes. Hit the axes ready for my stars I hit menu and I need to go to graph type scatter plot now you need you need this uh, the set notation and I'm gonna call this one you need this thing this function it's a random integer and in parentheses I'm gonna make it go from negative 10 because I'm just setting the X range so it's negative 10 to 10 and say stars and I'll say plus 17. It could be really any number. I just chose 17 because it makes it a lot easier for me. It's something I just learned how to do. And I'm going to repeat the same steps. Random integer. And I'm going to make this one 3, comma 8. And then stars. And you notice it's bold. The bold mean bold means it's actually uh it's it's a variable. And there are my stars. Now I'm just gonna change them into stars, so I'm gonna right click on these things, go to attributes, I'm just pushing to the right till I find something I like, and that's what I like. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm just gonna change the color. The color I want. Stars are normally white in the sky, so that's what I want. And then I'm gonna hide this label where I can delete it. I'm gonna delete it. And then from there. All I gotta do is right click on this and animate. Now I have stars in the sky. If you have any questions, just email me. Thank you.